Keyboards are one of the most important input device for a computer. A standard keyboard has more than 100 different keys for different purposes. Yet sometimes it feels like, it'd be great if there's some programmable buttons, to execute certain commands or a particular set of key combination. Keeping that in mind, I have designed this Ardu keyboard. A programmable macro keyboard based on popular at Mega 328P microcontroller. It has 9 push buttons, connected in a 3x3 matrix format. Apart from that, it has at Mega 328P deep IC, in bare minimum configuration. A USB 2.0 male connector, and CH340C, USB to TTL converter IC, to talk to the microcontroller over USB. So without wasting any time, let's see, how to build this. So, this is the PCB for the project. As you can see it is small and compact. The PCB is manufactured by PCBWay.com, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturer from China. They offer 10 prototyping PCBs for only $5. Check out their official website to know more. If you want to get the same PCB as I have used in this project, then check out the link in the description. This is how it looks like, after fully assembled. So now let's move on to the programming part. First, we will try the standard blink test on this board. So I open up the blink sketch. I'll change the LED pin to pin 7. Because on the board, there's an LED, connected to pin 7 of the microcontroller. And as you can see, the light is blinking, as it's supposed to be. That means the Arduino, and its USB driver circuitry working perfectly. Moving on, we need to make this board acts like a keyboard. Now, Arduino Uno or Artmega 328P doesn't support HID out of the box. So how do we do that? Well there's a method, that makes the Arduino, works like a HID device. But that process involves stuffs like flashing firmware, and since I'm a hardware guy, so I don't want to get into that much complexity. But if you want, you can read more about it, in this documentation. I will attach the link in the description. Now, the method I'm going to use is easier than this, and it has more flexibility over that method. I'll talk about that in a moment, but first let's see, what are we talking about? First we will include the keypad library, for the matrix keypad. My keypad has 3 rows and 3 columns. Then I created a keymap for the buttons. 
Next I define the pin numbers, connected to the keypad matrix. Then I initialize an instance of class, new keypad. After that I define the LED pin. In the setup section, we first initialize serial connection with 9600 broad rate. Then we define the LED pin as output. In the loop section we simply read the keypad value, and print it on the serial monitor. But at this point, you might ask, this only prints the key values in the serial monitor. And we need to change it to keystrokes. This is where Python comes to rescue. You need to have Python installed in your system. Also you need this library, PyAuto GUI, to have control over keyboard and mouse. Open up the Python terminal. First we need to import the necessary libraries, which are, serial, to access serial ports. Time, to set delays and intervals. And obviously PyAuto GUI library. Once that was done, we'll define the COM port and serial broad rate. Same as we defined earlier. Next, we'll read the serial data, and store it into a variable. Now all is left to do, is set the key commands accordingly. Check the link in the description to get the full list of supported commands. Then save the file and hit run. At this point if you press the button on the Ardu keyboard, you can see it in action. Now the great thing about this setup is that, you don't need to reprogram the Arduino, every time you want to change the key commands. Since we are working with the serial values, so by modifying the Python script, we can use the very same board in different platforms. This will certainly help you, in programs like Photoshop or any other editing softwares, where you often need various keyboard shortcuts. Possibilities are endless. If you enjoy the video and learn something alongside, then please like the video, share and subscribe.